there, there's a lot tied up in it. So the two things you said and the one thing she said are all tied up in it. Is that he doesn't want to just say, well, I'm your brother and we're all going to be okay. He wants to make sure that there's been a real change of heart with them. And also, he probably wants to check and see if, in fact, Benjamin is really alive or not. Because they may have done the same thing to Benjamin. I mean, you got to think, everything that he's thinking, Benjamin isn't with them. You know, where is Benjamin? Are these guys really the, the, the guys that sold me all these years ago? I, there's a lot that's probably going on in his head. So everything you said and probably even more that we're not thinking of. There's, it, because you got to figure, if you were sold, how would you handle it? When, in fact, he already knows, and he's going to say it later, you know, God, what you meant for evil, God meant for good. Okay? And he already sees the good, but he needs to determine if they see the good as well. So, okay, go ahead. And he put them all in custody for three days. On the third day, Joseph said to them, Do this, and you will live, for I fear God. If you are honest, man, let one of your brothers stay here in prison, while the rest of you go and take grain back for your starving household. Okay, now this may be a parallel of what's going on with the Jewish people. A day to the Lord is like a thousand years, and a thousand years is like a day. He put them in prison for third day, three days. On the third day, he lets them out. Well, they have been under punishment for 2,000 years. And it is the beginning of the third day when they end up back in the land of Israel. So you see the parallel. And you will see this several times in the Bible where something says three days in the Bible when actually it does mean a 2,000 year period. The book of Hosea talks about this. Um, uh, after two days I will come to you, on the third day I will restore you. And that's speaking of the 2,000 years of punishment on the third day. And you've got to go by the Hebrew calendar because ours is 1,900 years or whatever. It's actually over 2,000 years. But the Lord is working on this day is 1,000 years and 1,000 year scenario. And it kind of fits here as well. Okay, The people of Israel have been kept out of the land and they've been kept away from the presence of the Lord for 2,000 years as they have awaited the fulfillment of the punishment that they justly de deserve. Anyway, go ahead. Verse 20, was it? 21. I so. Okay. 20? Yep. But you must bring your youngest brother to me so that your words may be verified and that you may not die. This they proceeded to do. They said to one another, Surely we are being punished because of our brother. We saw how distressed he was when he pleaded with us for his life, but we would not listen, and that's why this distress has come upon us. Mm -hmm. Reuben replied, Didn't I tell you not to sin against the boy? But you wouldn't listen. Now we must give an accounting for his blood. And where does that harken back to? Noah, it says, by man's blood, should a man's blood be shed. And all, all the way back in Genesis 1, it says, I'll demand an accounting for everybody's blood. They're responsible for their brother, and they know they are. This is something that predates the law, okay? And so they understand that they don't know if this brother's alive or dead or not. If he's alive, he's still a pretty miserable dude in their minds. But, you know, chances are he's already died from slavery or whatever. So they, they think that they are being held accountable for his brother's blood, just as Cain was for Abel. Okay, go ahead. They did not realize that Joseph could understand them since he was using an interpreter. He turned away from them and began to weep, but then turned back and spoke to them again. He had Simeon taken from them and bound before their eyes. Okay, why Simeon? Simeon is the second son. This is just speculation on my part. I can't prove this. But uh, Simeon and Levi are the ones that went in and killed the whole town of Shechem. Okay, so he's, he, he's a rough dude. Reuben, being the oldest, said, I told you not to do anything, so he's not going to take the firstborn. So I think he's taking Simeon to hold him accountable as second in line and a guy that has demonstrated his temper in the past. And do you see the logic there? I'm not saying that's correct, but it makes sense that Simeon... Reuben is kind of repentant in front of him, and he, he heard that. Simeon is next in line, but he's also a guy that is an angry dude, along with Levi. Instead of keeping both him and Levi, he just keeps the oldest and holds him accountable. Okay, that's, that's speculation, but go ahead. Joseph gave orders to fill their bags with grain, to put each man's silver back in his sack, and to give them provisions for their journey. After this was done for them, they loaded their grain on their donkeys and left. At the place where they stopped for the night, 
one of them opened his sack to get feed for his donkey, and he saw his silver in the mouth of his sack. My silver has been returned, he said to his brothers. Here it is in my sack. Their hearts sank, and they mm. turned to each other trembling and said, What is this that God has done to us? Oh, boy. Mm -hmm. When they came to their father Jacob in the land of Canaan, they told him all that had happened to them. How long did it take to get back up there? Uh, it probably would have been, let's see, uh, Egypt. Uh, I don't know. It took uh, took the Israelites 38 years, but yeah. they, they took the long way. Let's see. It probably would have been um, from Kadesh Barnea. Uh, it, it was 11 days journey. Uh, let's see here in um, Deuteronomy. I think it's 1-1. One, one. It tells us it's an 11 days journey. So it, probably about two weeks would be my guess. But let me read this real quickly and see. Uh, Deuteronomy... It says, um, it is an 11 days journey from Horeb by the, uh, the way of Mount Seir to Kadesh Barnea, which is at the south of Israel. So, uh, figure two weeks, probably. You know, That's what it took uh, Joshua's men, Joshua and his, to, to get from southern, uh, into Egypt, up to, to, to check out Canaan. Oh yeah. Moses so told them, get up there. yeah, they get up there and they went around. They searched, but they searched for forty days while they were there. But yeah, probably about two weeks would be my guess. I, you know, I, I'm guessing on that, but that would be probably so about right. Who Joseph was. No, not yet. And when they realize who Joseph is, it's going to be kind of important. So, uh, did we just do verse twenty-eight? What verse do we? Yeah. Let's stop there because it's eleven thirty, and verse twenty-nine starts a new paragraph. So let's go ahead and quit there for the day.